So if you're looking for a quick and cute little way to give a pet owner and their pet a little treat, you've come to the right place. And today we're gonna put that together. It's our little pet treat box. And there's a cat and dog version. I'm only gonna put one of them together because they are pretty much identical minus the little embellishment on top. Obviously for the dog, there's a bone. And for the cat, there's a fish. Okay, uh, but as far as the box goes, you notice that the pieces are identical. So I'm not gonna do the dog one right now. And for each of these, there's one layer that goes on the lid. And then you just finish it off by putting either the bone or the fish in place. Okay, so um, let's put together the base. And you can tell that it's the base because the lid actually has these little little holes or little cutouts so you can get your fingers in there. Um, but it's a pretty straightforward little piece and we're gonna just go around in a circle here and glue our tabs to the neighboring pieces. My glue just kinda went crazy. Okay, so we're gonna take this neighboring piece, line it up next to that tab. Okay, you just wanna hold that until it's fully set and then we can move on to the next section here. So just grab your glue, throw a little bit of glue right on the next tab, and we're gonna tuck that right behind its neighbor here. Get it nice and lined up, and just press and hold until it's fully set. Should go pretty quick. And moving right along to the next tab, whoa. I think the glue is protesting today. Okay, and get that nice and lined up. Give that a squeeze, press and hold until it's set. And just moving right along here. Actually a pretty straightforward little project, nice and quick. You've got a friend, a uh, family member, whoever it may be that loves their pet and you were out shopping, maybe at a little flea market and you saw something cute that you want to gift them. It's a perfect little, perfect little box. You can make it bigger too if you'd like. It is kind of a petite little piece, but you can absolutely make it as big as your machine will allow. We do have videos that show you how to increase the size of basically anything. Okay, just working my way around, getting the tabs glued into place, and basically do, gonna do the same thing um, with the lid. It goes together uh, pretty much the same way. It's literally the same piece, except that uh, it's a little bit bigger, so it can slide over the base, and then of course you've got the little cutouts there. Okay, so that just leaves two more little tabs. And I'm gonna do one at a time here. Get your glue on that tab. I'm gonna flatten it out a little bit and push that up against this wall. Just press and hold for a moment. And that just leaves one more little tab. My glue is coming out with a force right now. And get that in place. There we go. So there's our little container. Nice and easy, just like that. And then we can move on to the actual lid. And as you can see, literally the same exact thing. So regardless of if you're making the dog or cat version, since they are separate files, this process is gonna be exactly the same. The only difference again is the little embellishment that goes on top. And simple as that. Okay. Just getting that glue on the little triangular tabs, lining them up with the neighboring walls. And just pressing and holding, making sure they're making good contact and that they're setting. There we go. Get that a little dab. And bring that in. Give it a good squeeze. 
Here we go. And throw a little glue on the next one. Just, just basically working your way around, either whether it be clockwise or counterclockwise, doesn't really matter. There we go. One at a time. And on to the next tab. Tack it up a little bit. Line it up. Give it a press. There we go. A few more. There we go. Okay. There we go. I think for uh, a cat, I've seen I was actually at one of my local pet stores yesterday. They've got cute little bags of, of catnip that will easily fit into a container like this. Or if you are pals with a cat friend and you bought your cat some treats, you can always take some out of the bag and put just a, a few of them in a little cellophane wrapper, tie it with a you know, either a twist tie or whatever it may be. Okay, so there's that. So that should fit over this nicely. It helps if you actually get every edge in place. There we go. It almost looks like a tuna can. <laughs> okay, and then this piece, whether it be the dog or the cat version is going to go right on top like this. So go ahead and get your glue on the back of this. This piece here, this looks like Halloween paper. <clears throat> I think it might actually be. Okay, get that nice and centered on the lid. Make sure you have a nice even border going all the way around. Okay, and again, I know this is redundant, but I just don't want people to be like, well, where's the video for the dog one? Again, this whole process here with the dog one is exactly the same. And let me see here. Yep. Okay, and then for the, for the cat one, we're gonna take this fish the one that has little cutouts. And we're gonna glue it to the shadow layer. Go easy on the glue here. Just like that. And match that up with the shadow layer, like so. Give that a press. Now with the dog version, we're gonna take the bone and get that glued down. And then I'm actually going to use some foam squares, or if you have 3D Zots, whatever you wanna to use to give this a little dimension. I'm gonna do that instead of just gluing it flat. You can glue it flat if you'd like, it doesn't matter. I just think it'll kind of make it look a little more impressive if there's a little bit of dimension on it. Okay, and then we just glue the bone together like so. And you can see that I've also inked these pieces just to kind of jazz them up. It's a quick project, so you might as well spend some time uh, working on your inking and such. All right, so again, the bone, I'm gonna put, this one's not going on the cat one, but I'm just showing you where I'm placing the foam squares. So we'll do one there, do one there, and obviously you'd peel these off and just attach that to the center of the box, like so but I'm gonna put a fish on this one. So we'll do one here. We'll do one here and maybe one here. Peel these off. And get that nice and centered on our box. Does that look centered? And move it this way a little bit. 
And that's pretty much it. Um, I do have some embellishments that I'm gonna add onto this because it is such a quick project. Might as well bling it out, have some fun decorating it. You can emboss some things if you want to emboss them, but again, cute little quick box and it's ready to go. So that's pretty much it. Um, well, I hope the lucky doggy or kitty that gets this little surprise enjoys it, and I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please take a moment and hit our YouTube channel and uh, click that subscribe button. And while you're there, uh, click on that little bell so that you get notifications anytime we release a new video, whether it be an assembly video, a freebie assembly video, or any of our tutorials. And if you make this or anything from our new bundle, we'd love to see it. So head on over to your Facebook and do a search for Dreaming Tree Group up in the little search box up at the top. Or you can type in this URL here directly and it'll take you right there. Uh, but yeah, that's about it. I had fun. I hope you did too. And I look forward to crafting with you again.